grab your seats. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this Config Manager 2012 Jeopardy quiz, second edition, because we did this last year. Um, so we're doing it again. This is supposed to be an educational slash entertaining session. Um, so we'll do our best to, to make it a great show. This is Configuration Manager Jeopardy. That's how we're going to play this game. And I assume most people know how Jeopardy works. So we'll, uh, we'll do Jeopardy. The players on our Jeopardy quiz this year round. Well, <laughs> to my right side here, we have from the uh, product group, we have uh, Wally and Brett, Freck. No, we actually don't have the correct slides. So we will, we will start by guessing who's on the teams. Give us a minute. We don't have the correct slides on, so we'll quickly switch out those. Tell the joke, tell the joke. No, no, they can't. Penalty from no. the uh, MVP. Where's my mouse? Okay. Oh. We, we would know the answers to these, though. <laughs> yeah, because you guys played them last year. <laughs> I need to bring up my station. So you So you want me to say something now? Yeah. Yeah, I can start by doing that. I can also start by saying, well, when, when I actually searched for pictures of the attendees here, I used my Facebook, and it revealed that if we were in Europe, which we're not, then this guy here would actually have birthday. So why not just start by congratulations, Steve, and say have, happy birthday, everybody. I do remember his age, but I'm not going to tell anybody. Um, so let me start by introducing myself while we're still waiting for the slides. My name is Kent. Uh, <laughs> Kim, you don't have the slides? No. Then you can introduce yourself because I do have the slides. <laughs> 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 All right. Sorry about that, folks. Um, Kent is going to copy the slides over real quick. Um, I'll quickly do the, the introduction part that we actually had, um, had going on, on the, the teams playing. So on our right-hand side, we actually have Wally that obviously needs no introduction, playing with the same co-team uh, player he had last year, Brad Flag. Um, you guys might not recall Brad from last year, though, because Brad kind of grew, grew a beard over the past year. Next to them, or right in front of me, we have uh, Street Frecky. Yeah, they can see me because we have a high enough stage to fix that issue. <laughs> we threw you guys off stage as opposed to have you guys on stage like last year. And then next to them, we actually have the defenders of the titles and the champions of last year, um, Panu and Gard, playing for the MVT, MVP team. team, star, team star. <laughs> and then right next to that, we actually have Kenny Buntings and Ronnie Peterson playing on the community team because the community players we had from last year didn't really want to play this year anymore because <laughs> they get their ass beaten by the MVPs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have the slides up and running, so let's get the show rolling. So let's just uh, remind you of the rules of the games. First off, Kim and I are always right. Second, if you forget that one, just read number one again. And it is a Jeopardy quiz, so rephrase stuff like you have seen on TV. Um, so we will provide you with the answers. Um, and with that, we have already done this introduction. So I'm still Kent, this is still Kim. And we will actually be uh, 
We will be uh, followed live on, on, on Twitter by no other by, but by no other, other by uh, Chris Nagas, who will be doing all the twittering. Thanks for that. The scoreboard. So this is our scoreboard. We have the Coffee Manager product team, Microsoft Field, the Coffee Manager MVPs, and community on there. So, <laughs> so Kim, just a quick note about the scoreboard. I can see. Well, some people know it's something wrong with the scoreboard. Well, could you get us to the intro slide we had last year? This was our intro slide last year. Right. So we had this up and running where we basically hackled Microsoft Field a tiny little bit. And then in October of this year, I actually had to open a support case. And the support case went all the way up to an escalation engineer that said, oh, you're Kim, I remember you. I was in that Jeopardy quiz. So I thought, all right, here comes my 15 minutes of fame. I said, yeah, that's me. Thanks for taking my question. I said, I didn't like it. You, <laughs> you guys hackled us. Uh, you said we, there was no chance of winning, so the escalation engineer basically refused to take my question unless they got 255 points as a head start. <laughs> so Microsoft Field starts with 250 points. So we we uh, we, uh, we actually had two, two comments last year, uh, stuff that we uh, we we could have done better. And the first comment, do you remember that? Uh, the first comment was actually from a guy from Texas. And he said, we had a great costume, but show hosts are supposed to wear a hat. So we fixed that this year. So we now have a complete hat for Ken. So Ken is going to wear a hat. And then on top of that, on a more serious note, we did get quite a few comments that the way we did audio with 10 people on stage didn't really work. So we have people arranged around the stage this year around, and we've hand, we have hand mics, so they can only make real noises when somebody hands them a mic, because these lot are difficult to keep quiet. I can make noise. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so to solve that, we actually ha uh, have two gorgeous showgirls that we hire um, to actually walk around with the hand mics. We, we actually have a slight problem there because you gave me the money last night to hire the showgirls. You know, I, I, I felt, I really felt lucky. So I gave Vegas a chance and I kind of lost. So, so I ended up having like $25 back, but, but I, I still was able to get us some showgirls. Uh, and the first one was actually uh, Miss Las Vegas back in 69. And can we have uh, Charlotte on stage, please? And she actually cost it $24, so with $1 back, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, my, 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 second, my second one was uh, none other but the uh, high roller, James Black. I lost it all. Yeah. <laughs> so, so these guys, yeah, yeah, give them a round of... <laughs> these guys here are going to control the mics, so... Uh, $2. Two <laughs> two, <laughs> so $2. So we're a dollar short. We're a dollar short. Um, so let's, with that, let's, uh, let's get started. All right. So round one categories are Wally's favorite Config Manager tools. <laughs> and then Config Manager infrastructure, Config Manager and that cloud thingy, and Config Manager content management. So that's our board for this Jeopardy quiz. And with that, we'll actually switch to our quiz software. So the rules are, are quite simple. We, uh, there will be some, uh, some questions, and all the teams have a buzzer, and the one that hits the buzzer first will actually be the ones with the answers. So? The very first question to, to kick this off can actually be triggered by our champions of last year, they get to f pick the very first category and the very first question. Bias. Bias. And just take your time, please. 
<laughs> okay, we're going to go for uh, configuration infrastructure for 200. So that's Microsoft Field. When it can't scan. Scan failure. Oh, what is a scan failure? Oh, you are wrong. <laughs> no more questions answered. <laughs> the correct answer was actually what is after four times 30 minutes? No, I, it was wrong. MVPs get to pick the next question until somebody has it right. So we are the uh, non-fault tolerant site system roles in a primary site. Just you only have to name four of them. Oh, uh, sorry, us? Oh, uh, what no, is no, no. Uh, Panu knows the answer? <laughs> uh, I get the first one. Uh, endpoint protection point. AI. What is? What is AI? Oh, okay. What AI. is AI? So keep going. No, no, go <laughs> uh, What is? Uh, I don't know what. Uh, what, are the, what are we trying to get? Uh, site server roles. Uh, AI uh, endpoint protection. Uh, software reporting point. And uh, yeah, you can't. You well. Uh, and. Um, Sorry? Yes, I am. <laughs> what is? Well, you gotta go with the last one. Last one. Because the reporting point isn't fault tolerant. Did Did any of you attend the advanced infrastructure session last yesterday? <laughs> no. Maybe you should have. No. So that's wrong. We have the primary site server, the endpoint protection point. Yeah. Enrollment points, enrollment proxy points, asset intelligence, and so on. We'll take infrastructure for 50. How about configuration and the cloud thingy? For 100. Config Manager product team. Specify a special minimum array at the, the clouds. Uh, what is the uh, in, uh, Windows Intune connector? And uh, you need administrative rights on the site. Unfortunately, that's an incorrect answer. The Windows Intune actually connects using a certificate, not a minimum rights user. So the only cloud service that does it with a minimum rights user is actually Office 365, which is also a cloud service and allows your exchange connector. Still don't have any correct answer, so the MVPs are still on to choose. Okay, how about Wally's favorite uh, config command tool for 100? No, Pat! Okay. <laughs> 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 no, Pat! What is Notepad? What is Notepad? What is Notepad? What is notepad? <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Incredible. So it's you again? Uh, oh, hey, let's go on a roll for 200. Uh, yeah, what is Notepad? You get to pick the next one. Someone Kenny? The community? What is CM Trace? Actually, that's 
Who needs to get the big next question? So, uh, Hi, Molly's favorite tool, Pearl Harbor. <laughs> It's the MVPs. Uh, what is CM Trace? <laughs> Unfortunately, CM Trace had a bug in the summer so that it couldn't read log files that were longer than 8,000 lines. So reading long log files, that was no bad. <laughs> so MVPs get, no, community had the last question correct, so they get to choose a new category. Given that this is Wally's favorite tools, I'm going to have to say it's Notepad. What is Notepad? What is Notepad? What is Notepad? Oh. <laughs> so we're, we're back to the community again. You had the last one, right? Stage content? Not really. I'll, I'll agree. <laughs> the answer we had in mind was a cool DP, but pre stage content will ignore it as well. It's the product team that gets to pick the next question. Uh, the, an the answer that the product team gave was what is pre-staged content, which we'll take as a correct answer, but the answer we were looking for, what is a pool DP? Because pool DP is not using the sender, so it won't use settings you set on the sender. Cloud thingy for 200. And community gets to answer that one. <laughs> what is Windows Intune is indeed a correct answer to that one. Microsoft Field? What is Dersync? Exciting. <laughs> nice, actually. Correct. So you get to choose the next one. Um, let's go with content management for 200. <laughs> what is the... Um, con um, Single instance store. We were going to be a little bit more in detail than that, but we were going for the file lib folder, but as is indeed part of the single instance store, so we'll grant it as you guys are a community. <laughs> community gets to pick the next question. Right, and I want to restate that we're completely impartial, right? We can help you, it's not Notepad. Minus one is. Oh, is this for us? Uh, yeah. what, is what is a stupid question? <laughs> <laughs> so the right one is slash I, Mr. Panu. So it's the uh, back to the community again. Go 
hoffe, ich melde mich ihm. What is that tool in the toolkit? Uh, the package move tool. What is the package move tool? Ah, oh, we'll run it. <laughs> it's a content library transfer tool, is what it actually is called. But Coffee Manager product team gets to choose the next question. Damn, I need to specify the port as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what um <laughs> what uh what is ah uh, come on the stupid thing bgb but the big green button but it's renamed and the port is um for i, I don't know the port sorry uh, i think the port number is uh, 10 1 2 3 hand the mic to the product team we're not going to grant points but if they want to show off they're allowed to show off Wally? it's what Oh, <laughs> the port number is 10.123, and the direction is client initiates the connection to the management point. Uh, <laughs> oh. Port is 10.123. I'm. <laughs> so, since the product team had it right, yeah, was not awarded points because they didn't press the button soon enough, they do get to pick the next question, though. <laughs> MVPs get to answer this one. What is the after backup dot bat? Mm. <laughs> no. Yeah, but you can still after backup dot, dot, dot bat would not allow you to, well, you'd be triggering backups back to back, but that yeah. would be silly. Yes. Um, but the actual answer we were looking for what is what is defining a scheduled task to just start the backup service? Because that would trigger a backup as well. MVPs get to pick the next question. Microsoft <laughs> Field. What is Dursync? I know it's not. <laughs> well, it's worked before, I mean. Oh. So we're back to, was it the, was it the community, Kim? MV MVPs had the last test. So we're back to the MVPs again. And again, you really should have attended Brian's session yesterday morning. SP create the MP replica. What? Oh, only if the friend is in the front row. <laughs> MVPs get to pick the next question. What is cancel your subscription? <laughs> what? <laughs> that that kind of depends on your guys as a lay, because the question does say immediately prevent. Cancel your subscription, I, and you guys are going to do that. I, snap. All right, I'll trust you guys on that. <laughs> The real question was stopping the Azure Cloud service on demand instead of canceling your subscription. But 
Whatever. You guys get to pick the next question. Take your pick. MVP is pressed. What is bits? No, no. Oh, oh that's the answer. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Now, there's actually two components that get installed, HTTP redirection and IS management and script tools that you don't actually need on there if you use the configure IIS. So if you do it yourself, that would be more, more ideal. So if, uh, if anyone in the audience wants to uh, challenge the teams up here, we have time for two questions, and uh, you can pick your uh, team. We have a little prize for that. So just go up to the mics. What's the default date of all blank dates in the code base? I know, for example, it's our uh, director of development's uh, birthday, but the exact date is? January 1st, 1980. Who else wants to challenge the team? Come on, guys. Matthew? No. No questions. No. What does SimMom32 do? What is the recommended service for SQL when you use Config Manager with Advanced Security? Which account do you need? A little bit louder? What is the recommended service account you need for SQL when you want to configure Config Manager with Advanced Security? It's actually correct, local system. <laughs> So we're ready to move on. So we're on to double jeopardy and the next set of categories, which is uh, first category is system center. They're like family, the distant kind you don't get to pick. It's all about the app model, it's our second category. We have a third category on hidden gems, and the final category is Config Manager 2012 beyond general availability slash RTM. <laughs> I think the product team had the last question correct, so they get to pick the category. Config Manager 2012, Beyond Cart. All right. <laughs> Config Manager Team Press. What is migration between two configurant man 2012 SP1 sites? Config Manager Product Team can be wrong on that one. All right. Next question. 400. Same category. Same category. The MVP is actually pressed for that one. What is patch? <laughs> Correct. What is the patch property?
<laughs> so this is why we took away the mics from these guys. <laughs> MVPs get to pick the next category. Uh, we'll do the uh, system center family thing. They're like a family. For, oh, for 200. For 200. For 200. For 200. <laughs> Microsoft Field gets to answer that one. Please be specific. What is the process by which the config manager client calls a ops manager client side API that pauses the ops manager service, causing it to eventually fail and not actually work with maintenance mode? Our answer was actually we have had no clue. <laughs> But since we had a panel of experts right in front of us, we thought we'd ask. That was a strange thing. <laughs> what was that? Time is a strange thing. It never stands still. It was just our for fortune cookie for the day. But Microsoft Field actually had that one correct. So they can choose the next category. Whatever you want. Let's go for uh, family for 400, please. What is the app approval solution accelerator? Once again, that's correct. Uh, we'll take uh, their family for uh, 600, Alex. Field again. Add client to a collection. What is create an advertisement? What is create deployment? <laughs> what is import computer? Hey, once more. Uh, we have a couple more, but. Uh, family for 800, please, Kim. Field again. What is configure VMM to use the software update point as its WSUS source? <laughs> That's just amazing, guys. Let's go for family for a thousand, please. Microsoft Phil. What is the VX data warehouse views for BIOS and system enclosure? That's awesome. Nice and good. Impressive. Let's go with let's go with Garth for six hundred, please. <laughs> Garth for six hundred. Config Manager product team. What is hierarchy expansion? Correct. What is expanding your hierarchy with a CAS on top of a primary site that already existed? Perfect. 800. Next category. Same category, 800. Config Manager product team again. What is the automatic client upgrade feature? Could you repeat that? What is the automated client upgrade feature? A thousand. Same category for one thousand.
the community? Well, my friend here just gave me the wrong answer. Just hold on a minute. <laughs> KB270 something. KB270 something? That's not good enough. So we're back to the uh, config manager team again? It's back to the config manager team. It was actually KB2734608. Hidden jams for two. Has that four <laughs> they assume you do that correctly, so you don't, don't have to call them to make it work. Ow. Microsoft failed. Current rule. What is a detection method, not a requirement rule? Unfortunately, that means product team gets to pick the next question. We'll uh, do hidden gems for 200 again, please. Hidden gems for 200 again? <laughs> Config manager product team. What is the... What is, don't answer. what is the archive inventory uh, attribute? There's no stealing. What is the archive inventory attribute, uh, temporary file? Ar archive underscore reports as a message what the file was actually called, but that's what, Wal that's what Wally meant, and they decide on our MVP title, so we'll assume that that's what he meant. <laughs> Hidden gems. Four hundred. Four hundred. Oh, community. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> there's no going back here. Um, well, I don't know. I just pressed. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so we are uh, back to the config manager team again. Hidden jam 600. Wally? That's actually oh. correct. So the <laughs> yeah. It's the client push generator. We had a tool in community for quite some time that actually creates CCR so you can make sure the client gets pushed out yourself by just copying a CCR in the CCR.box. But actually that tool is now just in your binaries. You might not have noticed, but it's there. It's called the client push generator.exe. 800? Yep. Hidden gems, 800. What is the configuration manager service manager? The registry. It, or the registry service manager. Indeed, right. What is the component manager or the registry? Because indeed, in the registry, you can go into the registry and type in the action to do, start and stop, yep. which is a neat little trick that only old timers really know, but it does work. Oh, yeah, I'm calling you all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's finish off Hidden Gems for a thousand. Microsoft field again. What is the console XML <laughs> extensions? Nice try, but that is a little bit too vague. I want it to be more specific than that. What is the... SMS admin dot XML. I don't know. No. <laughs> but, but it was a str <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> it's actually the admin UI console builder dot XA that allows you to manipulate the correct XML. You could do it with Notepad if you know which XML to edit as well. 400. Community? What is... What 
this required Lyman, employment? Uh, yes. What is required deployment? No. <laughs> Both the product team and the Microsoft field together would have had it correct, but community pressed and had it wrong. Nope. Indeed. What is the application evaluation cycle, also known as global re-evaluation? For a thousand. Well, we actually had that question handed to us by one of the product team members, so I wish you good luck on that one. You weren't, none of you were meant to actually get this one. What is a reboot? <laughs> nah. If you copy an app that has an app v5.0 deployment type that has a virtual environment, it'll actually copy that virtual environment to an org group. Config manager product team. What happened? Uh, what is we assume that it's not applicable and and consider continue to the next dependent uh, the next DT. Indeed, this is not very well documented. But if you do this, it'll evaluate the following deployment type that is in the list of your deployment types. Config manager product team yeah, I, for. I think we'll take six hundred. You're going to take 600 for the app model. Nice choice. Uh, oh, superseded. What is the app being superseded? What is the app being superseded? Correct. If you deploy a superseded application, during your deployment, you actually have the option to specify that people that had it available will automatically upgrade to the new version. Nice one, Brad. So we have our current scoreboard. So we um, will now move on to the final Jeopardy question where people can wager in the points they've received. All right. And we'll have a question that will require you to give us a number. The team that ha ends up with the answer closest to the number we're after gets his points back double that they waged. Everybody else loses the points they waged. All right? So we'll start off with Microsoft Fields and how many points they want to wage. Um, so we know what do you think? 4,000. 4, Roll the dice. Yeah, yeah let's go with 4,000. Why not? So Microsoft Field is waging 4,000 points. Config Manager Product Team, you're up next. So you guys know that Wally never forgave me for the wager that we did last year. So I think this year we're going to play it safe and, and uh, bet zero points. Oh. <laughs> zero points for the Config Manager product team to wage. All right. <laughs> Brad did indeed wage last year every single point and kind of gave away the trophy. They're determined to get the trophy back this year. M MVPs. We're not going to wimp out like the product team. We're going to go for it all. True daily double. 1,400 points for the MVPs. And then community? What is 42 points? <laughs> 42 for community.
All right. So here comes the question. Final Jeopardy. Start off with Microsoft Field handing out our number. No, 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 no. Everybody gets to answer this one. It's the one that ends up closest to what it actually is that gets its points. What is We're zero? writing it down. Hmm? What is zero? They're meant to be pipes, we just couldn't use pipes in the quiz software, so they're pipes. We'll get back to that very first slide with the rules of the game. They're pipes. Product team gets to answer next. Wally? Rule two. I, I think we've decided we'll go with 175. 175 for the Microsoft product team. We'll go for the MVPs then. The MVPs are going to, who love PowerShot, we truly do, right, Kato? And we're going to say 143. 143, and then community gets to answer that one. We'll stick to 42. <laughs> <laughs> community sticks to 42. Can we stop? It's actually the closest one. <laughs> The correct answer is actually what is 93. And for the people that didn't figure it out yet, these are the PowerShell commandlets that start with the noun sets. There's 93 of them in SP1 cumulative update one, which means that community got the answer closest. So they're getting a bonus of 42 points. So I'll need to adjust the scores. Community now has 942 points. The MVP waged it all. This is Vegas. They'll go broke home. Microsoft Field did build in a safety margin, but that ended up not being safe enough. So they end up with 600 points. And the Config Manager product team did the only sensible thing to do in Vegas and not wage too much. So they win this year's Config Manager quiz. And we'll, we'll have Ken hand out the title. <laughs> we do have a consolation prize for everybody, though. Everybody does get a cup. Just participating is winning in here. Thank you, Mike. It's pretty good. Here, Penu, you can have this one. Oh. <laughs> Guys, that's it for us. Thanks for being here. Contestant, thanks for playing. Hope to see you all next year.